what were the shows, the television that influenced you that made you want to go into this world ultimately? I was, you know, I was a kid that was addicted to Batman, the silly TV show version of Adam West, Burt Ward. They were amazing and the characters were amazing. I loved that show so much that my parents used it as a blackmail or extortion to make me act the way they wanted me to act. So I am a product of how I was forced to act or else no Batman. <laughs> It's the part of you that no one can see. But you know it's there, and I do too. That's the part of you that no one can take away. Because that's the part of you that's really you. You see, the stuff I like about you isn't the stuff on the outside. What I like about you is the other stuff. The inside stuff. I relate to this character on the level of somebody who has tried to bring joy and goodness through my work to the world, whose intention has always been to free people from concern. So that's not unlike my character and his intention towards uh, young people and the future and what they're going to be given and whether they feel loved. And you're always waiting for that thing that you recognize as some part of yourself that you've experienced or you haven't been able to express yet, you know? And, uh, and also what you're equipped to express now uh, after whatever life experience I've had in the last little while. So you're always looking for that thing that can express that, you know? And, and when it comes, you know, there's, there's always talk about, oh, movies and television and whatever it is. It doesn't really matter what the delivery system is. It's really what you're delivering. It's wonderful when you get a collaborator that, that you trust. And so, you know, we don't agree on everything, but, you know, there's always those moments where I say, but remember when we did and then whatever, and he'd go, oh, you had to throw that in my face, didn't you? Okay, you're right this time. You know, and in uh, other times where he talks me into things like he's always done, you know, where I go, that's impossible. And he goes, well, didn't you try? You know, and the next thing you know, I'm doing it. And it's working. It's something I can't help but do. It's just happening. I have to turn the uncomfortable things that I see in this world into some sort of art. And so that just naturally happened. I got thrust back to being eight years old again and with a sketch pad and uh, the television sitting in front of me with all the duplicity in the world being accepted as normal. And I had to do something. It's a way of immortalizing and turning it into something and keeping track of it also. I think it's a really important time in history. And uh, there's some part of me that doesn't want to, doesn't want to rest while it's happening, you know? And I'm hoping that this television show when people see it, they not only see all the pain and the excitement and the crazy invention, but they also are reintroduced to the innocence within themselves, you know? That, that, because I don't believe we ever lose that. I think it's always there no matter how dormant it is. It just takes a Fred Rogers or somebody with really pure intentions, you know, to, to loose it in you, you know, and, and make you realize that's who you are.